I love working with new possibilities. And one of the reasons that we're able to do that is because of the people who say yes and attend. The people who are drawn to this gathering are more and more able to step in strongly and, and joyfully and take part in all aspects of our time together. This time I felt called. I've met Ken Lennon Wake in the past and did some traveling to Peru with them and also have done a couple of seminars and it's just a really beautiful place to come and feel at home and feel community and feel connected. This time of year and this gathering is the moment when things happen for me. And so I always look forward to, to coming here, to being here. I really needed to find community. Because you know, as shamans, we walk in two worlds. I was just talking to Wake about this. What do I do next? You know, I'm here with community. I go home and the community's not there. It's, it's that other part of the community. So I really needed time to be with my spiritual community right now. For 25 years I've been like going from one kind of healing gathering to another and I moved to Oregon and this one was introduced to me two years ago and it speaks to my soul. It makes me sing inside that I'm so blessed to be able to be part of this. The community, the community is, is so, so strong and builds every time. The variations in, in the gathering are so great. It, it never gets stale. It stays, it stays new. It stays with old that we need, but the new that we need. And that's, very, that's, that's a very big part. It is a special place, and it's coming together of likewise people. And, you know, I live in Holland, and Mostly, I am a very private person, and to be here among a group and feel the love and the wisdom fills my own soul and my heart, and that I bring back home. Until it's half a year, six months further, and then I feel the need, oh my guys, I hope to meet you again, and so we can explore our wisdom, our love, and our peace.